Physics of Stringed Instruments, Number 2, Electric Guitars, Influence of Wood Species Used for the Body on the Sound of Solid Body Electric Guitars. String vibrations are transmitted to the fingerboard and neck through the nut and strings. String vibrations are less likely to be transmitted from the bridge to the body. When the strings and neck resonate, the vibrational energy of the strings is lost as energy is transferred from the strings to the neck. In other words, the sustain becomes shorter. If the degree of resonance is large, it becomes a dead spot. This is because the total vibration energy of string and neck is constant. Depending on the neck material, the resonant vibration mode, frequency and pitch, differs. Also, even with the same wood, there are individual differences, so even guitars of the same shape from the same manufacturer will have slightly different characteristics. The presence and position of dead spots are also different. This figure shows the waveforms of the fundamental note, second, third, fourth and sixth harmonics. The red vertical line on the left represents the bridge, and the orange line on the right represents the nut. Fundamental notes alone lack richness. Adding many overtone components to the fundamental tone creates a rich sound. Next, I will explain the relationship between tone and body material. In this figure, the white line represents the string, and the dashed white line represents the state where the finger presses the string. In this case, string vibration is transmitted to the neck from this part. This neck vibration is further transmitted to the body from the neck joint. As a result, some of the string's vibrational energy is lost in this sound propagation process. Think more about sound. In this figure, the left side shows the vibration of the string. The vibration of a string originally contains many overtones in addition to the fundamental tone. The middle diagram shows how the neck and body resonate with certain harmonics of the strings, drawing energy from the strings and causing the neck and body to vibrate. Which harmonics it resonates with, and how much energy it takes from the string, determines how much the string's harmonic content is reduced. This is the reason why the sound changes depending on the type of wood used. As a result of the loss of harmonic content, the harmonically rich string vibration changes to a simpler combination of vibrations, as shown in the picture on the right. This is an extreme example, and in reality, there is no such thing as a certain frequency component disappearing completely. One thing to keep in mind here is that when wood absorbs vibrations moderately, it produces a soft sound that is not metallic, so it is not necessarily bad to absorb these vibrations. From here, I will introduce an interesting experiment conducted by Mr. Fujiso of Sweden. This experiment was done with a guitar, but it also applies to bass guitars. He made three Telecaster-type guitars and analyzed their characteristics. All three guitars are assembled with the same materials and parts except for the body material. The same goes for painting. The body wood is molded, which is a cheap compressed wood, mahogany and ash. The horizontal line written on the guitar is the baseline for laser vibration measurement. I think he was the first to do such an experiment. Table 1 shows damping frequency characteristics. This is a measure of the level of sound loss. This table can be confusing, so the following figure explains it. For now, it is sufficient to understand that different wood species have different damping characteristics. This figure organizes the data in the previous table. The horizontal axis represents the frequency, that is, the pitch of the sound, and the vertical axis represents the degree of string vibration loss, with the higher the degree, the greater the loss. This figure clearly shows that ash has greater energy loss than mahogany around 200 to 400 Hz, and above 450 Hz, however, ash loses less energy than mahogany. In this figure, the horizontal axis is time, the vertical axis is sound volume, and the data from low to high sounds is shown from the front to the back. The numbers in parentheses indicate the attenuation speed of the sound, and the larger the number, the faster the attenuation. This figure shows the ash guitar has the highest rate of sound decay, minus 10 decibels per second. Mahogany is minus 8 decibels per second, and molded material is minus 5 decibels per second, 
making it the least attenuating sound. This figure shows how the string vibration is damped. Molded wood has much less harmonic content, is quieter and has a slower decay. Mahogany has more overtones, a louder sound, and a gentle attenuation of overtones. Ash material has many overtone components and sounds loud at the moment the string is plucked, but there is a tendency for the overtone components to decrease rapidly. Summary 1. String vibration is transmitted from the neck to the body. 2. If the sound frequency of the string is close to the natural frequency of the body, it will resonate, absorbing the string vibration and damping the sound faster. 3. Since this natural frequency varies depending on the material, weight, and shape of the body, the sound of each guitar is different. 4. From the above results, it is presumed that the sound of the guitar is determined by the resonance frequencies of the neck and body, and the degree of resonance. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in stringed instruments, please subscribe to the channel and press the good button.